you have a lot of Scandinavians that talk, and I'm, yeah, we are the Vikings, I'm the Vikings. But Tønsberg is really, it's honest, it's the oldest town there's a Viking from. And yeah, I'm proud to, uh, to be from there and to represent them here in the final. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. MMA is still uh, illegal uh, to compete in, in Norway, professional. So I believe uh, winning a championship here in PFL will absolutely make it legal. Speaking of the big man from Norway, there he is, Martin Hamlet, Randy. It's win and get in. Oh, just right hand right down the middle of Martin Hamlet. Beautiful right hand right on the chin. So Martin Hamlet has an opportunity to not only uh, win a million dollars, but to help change the way that mar martial arts is viewed in his home country of Norway, and by extension, open up some opportunities for kids who uh, might be watching him and thinking, I want to try that. The process of changing people's mind about this sport we know already in the U.S. takes time, and it's a series of a lot of different steps. So every step is critically important, and for Norway, this would be a big one. They set up a shoulder choke here on Dan Spahn. Yeah, he's got some I pressure. Think, I think he's got it. I think he put him out. Yeah, Spahn is out. out. Unbelievable. It's rare that you see it in the close guard, but it is possible, especially if you look like that man, Martin Hamlet. Because I came from wrestling, and that's an Olympic sport, big sport, but nobody cares about wrestling in Norway. But MMA, it's really, really true passion about it. This guy is powerful. Hammer fist from Martin Hamlet! I think absolutely with a win here in the PFL final, it will be legal and it will be a huge, huge, huge um, event in Norway soon. And just like that, Martin yeah! Hamlet books a spot! Uh, every person have have a destiny, so maybe this is my destiny.